Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 25th of 2019, well, it is titled an annular solar eclipse over New Mexico. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of what we call an annular eclipse. And annular is not for annual, or but for annulus or ring. Now, eclipses occur when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun. And that is what we call a solar eclipse. And part or all of the sun may be blocked out by the moon. And exactly how it happens depends on the exact positioning of the sun and the moon. It so happens that the moon and the sun happen to be about the same apparent size in the sky. Both are about half of a degree. So when they line up perfectly, they will block out each other and the moon will completely block out the sun. However, the orbits of the moon and the sun are not perfect circles. That means they're not always the same distance from us. And sometimes we were a little bit closer to the sun and sometimes we're a little bit further away. When we are closer to the sun, it makes the sun appear a little bit larger in the sky. And when we're further away, it makes it look smaller. The same thing happens with the moon. The moon is in an elliptical orbit. So it sometimes is closer to the earth and appears a little bit larger. And sometimes it's further away from the earth and appears a little bit smaller. So when an eclipse occurs, when the moon looks largest and the sun looks smallest, it is very easy for the moon to cover the entire sun. When the opposite occurs and the moon is at its smallest and the sun at its largest, the moon is not quite big enough to be able to cover the sun so that even if everything lines up perfectly, then the moon will just fit inside the sun and leave a ring or an annulus of sunlight still around it. And that's what we see here is that ring of material at almost the time of eclipse. You can see how the ring is almost complete here, uh, going around, going almost completely around the moon. So in this case, the photographer was waiting and just as the sun was setting and the eclipse occurred while the sun was setting, was able to get this image and happened to have somebody walk into the frame. There was not a plan to have a person there, but someone else going out to look at the eclipse. And you can see them holding a device to allow them to safely view the sun in eclipse, as it is never safe to look at any part of the uncovered surface of the sun, because that be can cause significant damage to your eyes. Happened to get a very nicely framed image, not just of the eclipse, but also of another eclipse watcher there. Now, this eclipse was from 2012 and taken in New Mexico. However, tomorrow there will be another annular eclipse that will be visible over Asia. So if you happen to be in that part of the world, going from Saudi Arabia uh, out through India and Guam, then you'll be able to see the annular eclipse. And most of Asia will see at least a partial solar eclipse where a part of the sun will be blocked out by the moon. So a chance to see an eclipse if you are in that part of the world coming up. So that was our picture of the day for December the 25th of 2019. It was titled An Annular e Solar Eclipse Over New Mexico. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be hexagon sky. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.